2000, just, uh, just shout them out, y'all. I didn't see the battle. I heard it was a dope battle. I heard Jag came in there. First of all, let's stop saying Jag is a is, is an industry rapper because he's not. Jag ain't never do nothing in the industry to save his life. So stop. Let's quit the bullshit. Don't so stop saying everybody that's not a bad rapper is an industry rapper. All right, all right. So let's let's let, let's stop that point blank. Let's not if, if a nigga don't say a nigga's an industry rapper because he just didn't battle in URL before. All right. Thank you. Let's stop that, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. And another thing we gonna do is we gonna stop saying niggas had classics. We gonna stop that. We gonna stop this whole classic shit and all that shit going on and everything like that. All right. So we 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 gonna dead all that. Stop all this classic shit. All right. I heard the battle was a dope battle though. I heard it was good. Um, I heard it was fire actually. I heard Jack came with some shit. I heard math was a very very good math. Like math was fire. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? But fuck all that. I'm gonna get into the situation. We said, who the fuck is Jag? Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't know if, if you wouldn't know. He, that, that's what I'm saying. All right, cool. So they said a situation happened where Math walked off the stage, right? Because Jag said something about the situation he had with the girl. Um, you know, I don't want to say her name, but, you know, with that situation there with the girl and the girl trying to say this son and, and blah, 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 whatever, whatever, right? Now, if y'all in battle rap, y'all know what I'm talking about. The girl Kiki, fuck it, I'm going to say it, said he, something happened and blah, blah, blah. All right, now, listening to both of the stories, I don't believe it. Now, at first, I'm like, I don't know, because I don't put nothing past nobody. I knew Matt for a very, very long time. I knew Matt for about, maybe about 15 years or something like that. I still got to get all the evidence and everything before I say anything about anything. You hear what I'm saying? So, listening to both stories at the end and how shit just died down, I don't believe her. I believe math didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's my, and, and, and that's my opinion. I believe math didn't do nothing off of hearing everything I heard, all right? I, I waited, I watched everything, I looked, I saw, boom, 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 all right, cool. I don't see, from this going on, it's dying down and that shit wasn't adding up, nah, math ain't do that, right? And I'm saying this to math, with that being said, if this shit ain't true, it shouldn't bother you. Don't let it, why are you letting it bother you? you? You know better than to walk off a stage during a battle that you're having, you should know from that alone, you're going, you're going to get negative feedback. Even if you won the battle, because of that, you gave them a reason to say you lost, even if you didn't lose the battle. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be bugging. Just let me know if I'm bugging. This is my opinion. All right? Am I right or am I wrong? That's all I want to know. Oh, let me get a little more of that. So, with that being said, this is math we're talking about. Math, you done been through bigger shit than somebody saying something in the third round about a situation that everybody knows about. And you getting that mad and walking off the stage. All right? Now, math, if you want to holler at me, 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 me and you could talk, I'll even come to your show and we could chop it up on your show about it. But... I still don't believe the girl, but as a a, 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 a vet that been in this game for, for 12 years, that was a rookie move, period. It's no, it's no reason you should have walked off that stage at all, at all. Just cause he says something about that. Niggas need to learn how to hold a composure Composure in battle rap is, 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 a, is a fucking attribute. It's an attribute you should have. Period. Alright? If you don't know how to hold your composure, a nigga could say something about you that's probably not even true. 
And if you do any little movement or look funny or get upset, it look like it's true. And I might be giving away too much right now. Because this is what I do. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all niggas say about me, what y'all say nothing. That shit don't bother me. You know why? Because in real life, I'm good. I'm all right. I'm chilling. Battle rap is his own world. I walk into battle rap and I walk right back out that shit when I'm done battling and, and, and giving the fans what they want to see. When I go into my real life, I'm good. I'm excellent. You get what I'm saying? So nothing in battle rap should bother you that much. So I, math, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you walking off. My nigga, you done been through shit in the street. I, I really know math and this is why I'm saying this. You done been through way worse shit. For that to get you like that, for you to walk off, and that's that. That's just my opinion on that. Um, like I said, I don't believe it, and I don't even know why you would let Jag get you that upset to walk off. It, you, you made all of us kind of look bad by doing that, because now you now Jag is talking shit. You get what I'm saying? You let a nigga that that cut that. To come in and infiltrate what we do and now you allowed him to be able to talk shit and say he won which i know you know what i'm saying well, i didn't see the battle but i heard math was was fire and i heard jag was fire but to say he won just because you walked off the stage and then you got the fans of battle rap now going against you because you did that right so i don't agree with that you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't. I don't agree with that. And 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 that's just it. It's about learning from your mistakes. B. I did something in battle rap. I did. I did two things in battle rap, and I learned from both of those situations. And I will never do those situations again because I learned from it. You get what I'm saying? So <sighs> that's that with that. Um, if y'all don't, I mean, I don't really want to talk about Jack. But I heard, I'm going to talk about him because I heard he had a good round. Of, well, I heard he had a good battle. The battle was fire. I watched the, I watched the interview with him. He looked like he'd do every drug that's possible. Jag looked like he'd do every drug. Coke, dope, he'd do pills, go to sleep, wake up, then, then do it all in, in, in a different order. Like, I'm going to just do the dope first and then the coke, then the pills. He looks crazy. Like, I'm talking about crazy. Bugged out. If you think I'm lying, go look at him. He looks crazy. That that is a fiend. I'm I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I I was in the streets. I dealt drugs before. I know what a fiend look like or a person that does a bunch of drugs. He looks crazy, and I'm glad he got some money from ARP because maybe he can fix himself up a little bit and go get a haircut. All right, and 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 that's that. But shout out to Jack because I heard he did amazing rapping, and he's actually a good rapper. He can rap. He can rap. I'm not going to take that from me. Could rap. That's that. Boom. All right. So um, with that being said, <sighs> y'all drinking? I hope y'all rolling up. Y'all smoking? Y'all drinking? We good? Okay, cool. All right. Long, long, long as we doing that, we good. I hate this shit right here. I, this right here, I had, I had a talk with caffeine about with this little, the little headphone shit. You see this? This, that. I don't, I'm not a gamer. I don't play games. I don't sit here on my TV in front of the TV and play games. I don't want to talk to little white kids on a, on a, on a, on a computer and about live and be playing ball. I don't want to do that. I don't need this shit right here. This I don't need, okay? Rip this off, take this off, give me another headset. Cool. <sighs> Battle rap talk. Oh, yeah, they, they, they done fucked up. They should have never let me come on here and be able to talk. Please. Please. Why? why? I could just sit here and talk? Oh, man. All right. But this is just... Oh, listen, this is all my opinion. How y'all feel is how y'all feel. If y'all if y'all don't agree with me, cool. If y'all do, then that's what's up. Next topic we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Cortez and Easy to Block. All right? Cortez and, Cortez and Easy to Block. All right. Let's talk about that. Oh, we got the little 100 emoji in. Let me see. Let me see some emojis or something, man. What's up? I don't know how that shit work. I got to figure all this out, but I'm good. We and then this ain't scripted. We ain't doing no script shit neither. You know what I'm saying? There we go. What the fuck is that? Two hands. I don't. What's that? I'm I'm lost. Cool. Whatever. Cortez, right? Cor Hold on, real quick though. Let's talk about this. All right, y'all. Let me y'all. Y'all need to get a close up on this because I want. I just want to show y'all something. 
You see this? Get a close up. You see that shit dance? You know why that shit dance like that? Because this is real. I'm tired of y'all niggas, y'all battle rap niggas with all this fucking fake jewelry. If you can't afford this shit, don't buy it. Y'all niggas make money. You get paid for battles. All right? Get, go get a real chain. Just put your money together. Do four or five. Y'all niggas do 20 battles a year anyway. Take fucking the money from all y'all battles. Put it together and go buy a fucking real chain, B. I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. Like, I'm really pissed. I'm upset. Like, I gotta really sit here and just, like, I'm sorry, man, because I just be, I'm sorry, bro. It's just, I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. For real, don't come around me with no fake chains. You know why? You know why? You know what get me pissed? Because, and, and this is some real shit. Now I'm gonna, this ain't talking money, but I'm in a jewelry. So I went, I went and spent 10000 for this chain, right? I paid 10 racks for this chain. I, I, I always wanted my, my, my shit on my neck. Nobody got it. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I want to spend 10 racks on it, right? I go around to these other battle rap niggas that got all this fake jewelry on, and I look like these niggas. These niggas look like me, so I, I really went and spent money on this shit. Hard-earned money. These niggas went and spent $200 on a chain out the mall from in the middle of the mall, and we both sitting there looking alike. And to the stupid fucking fans or stupid chick, she, she thinking we both the same. She just looking at both of us like, oh, they got jewelry. No, bitch, I got jewelry. That nigga don't got jewelry. That shit is fake. I'm about to start hating. I don't care what the fuck y'all say. I'm, you know what? From now on, I'm hating, B. I'm hating straight up. I'm hating. If you sitting by me with a fake chain, I'm hating. If it's a chick there and she looking at both of us and she looking at both of us like, damn, you know, they look at that jewelry. I'm going to tell her your shit fake. I'm hating from now on. That's it. I'm hating. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm going on the mic. Yo, listen, there's about two niggas in here, jewelry that's real. The rest of these shits is fake. Don't get fooled. I'm hating from now on. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. That's that. Can we drink to that? Amen. All right, but back on topic. Court says it's easy to block happen, right? Oh, man. Um, let me say this. I had easy to block winning. I had the battle 0-0-1. Zero, zero, okay, let me, let, let me say it again for y'all. I had the battle 0-0-1. Zero, zero, All right, so I had the battle zero <laughs> Cortez and easy to block. Zero Cortez and easy to block. And one easy to block. He won the third round. All right. This is, this is, and I, I did a watch party that day, and everybody, all of us in there had it the same way. I'm not giving nobody no fucking rounds. I'm not doing it. Y'all niggas be giving niggas rounds too much. And then, yo, you know what I hate? Because nigga, y'all make it hard as shit for me. I go up there. I got to face everything. Niche, that was not a good battle. Quit it. Get out of here. Um, I got to go up there and face everything. So I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna to give y'all niggas no way out. The battle wasn't good to me. I don't care. It was good to y'all. It wasn't good to me. It was, it, it, the, the first two rounds wasn't, wasn't it. The third round... Easy to block one. But let me say this though. Let me say this. You can't shit on Cortez all the way. And I'm gonna tell you why. When, when somebody asks me who they got, I had Cortez going into that battle. I had Cortez going in that battle. I thought Cortez was gonna win. The reason I thought Cortez was gonna win was because Cortez is hard to beat because he's consistent. Cortez don't lose a lot of battles. So if you sit there and say Cortez lose a lot of battles, you're lying. Cortez don't lose a lot of battles. And he's consistent. I, I really only saw him choke this last time versus Nitty. You know, he probably stumbled before that, but it's not a lot. He's very consistent. So I really thought Cortez was going to win. All right? So... Even if you don't like him, you say don't like his bars, you say he weak, whatever it is, he's consistent. And he's consistent enough to beat a easy to block. Alright? So going into the battle, I really thought he was going to win. I had him winning. But let's not shit on Core too much. Like he did, he just didn't have a good performance against T-Top. 
Um, I think that's the last one I saw with him against T-Top and, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and he wasn't that bad against Nitty from what I saw. He stumbled and all that, but he got it back. You can't shit on him too much. Y'all niggas be too quick to overly shit on a nigga that has been consistent though. So let's see what he do his next battle before we completely say, call you trash, fuck you, get the fuck out of here, you Puerto Rican little bottle girl, Cortez, I ain't gonna lie though. This is the problem, Cortez. You can't breathe no more. You too big. You, you, you are too big at this point. You're too, you, you, you are too, too, too big. But at this point, you can't breathe. Your beard don't connect. Like you see me, my shit's smooth. My, my shit, I didn't even know I could grow a beard. This is crazy to me. My shit connect like a grown man. I'm feeling this. Kept it feeling like a fucking grown man. They feeling me out here. All right, but listen. Cortez, your shit don't connect. This side connect, and this side stop right here. This shit like a long sideburn. Your beard should not look like a long sideburn. There's no possible way for your beard to look like a long sideburn. Um, Just cut the shit off. Before you do that, Run. Go on a low carb diet. I could teach you how to do this shit, man. And I don't want to talk about this. Let me let me chill because it's something I'm gonna talk about later on with the whole weight loss shit. But you got like niggas is older, man. I ain't no young young nigga no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't crazy old, but I ain't young no young young nigga. So breathing play a, a, a big factor. I don't think core material was terrible. I don't think his material was terrible. His delivery was terrible and he couldn't breathe. Next time, just grab an asthma pump. Go on the machine. You know that machine you put on your nose before you go up there? Go on that shit before you come on stage, B. Because niggas don't understand your, your breathing play a big part in how you say your shit or how you get certain punchlines across. So if your breathing is off, you're going to be off. You know what I'm saying? And... That's what it is. So I just think your breathing was bad. Your breathing was very bad. Um, as far as that, I don't think the material sucked. You know, it was it was okay, but it wasn't crazy neither. But it wasn't terrible. Like I don't feel like that. Your breathing and your delivery was just way off. Easy to block. Delivery was on. You know, e even if I didn't care for his rounds, his delivery was on. He was prepared. He was ready. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 how you're supposed to be. So I gave Easy to block the battle, but I gave him the battle because of the last round. The shit was still 0-0-1 going into the, uh, I mean, for the whole battle. All right. Next, let's move on. Um, let's talk about this Aver Calico. And and before I say this, I'm gonna say this because I don't give a fuck. I got a text. A few ago, not to talk about the Aberg, Calico, and Abo situation. And somebody asked me not to talk about it. You know, one of the higher ups, you know what I'm saying? One of the people behind the scene, they asked me not to talk about it. And out of respect for that person, because I do fuck with them, I got to tell you, no, sir, I can't do that. It's not possible for somebody to ask me not to, to do something I'm that that I want to do. It's not possible. I'm sorry. Like it ain't, this is my show. I do what the fuck I want to do. That's that. Yeah, everybody understand that, right? We good, we clear? <laughs> no, sir, we, are we clear on that? Do everybody understand that? That I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do on my show? Uh -huh -huh. Do we, under, we understand that? Okay, cool, all right, cool, all right, we good. All right. By the way, real quick, real quick. You see these pillows in back of me? You could pet these shits. You see, the, so you could pet it. You ever petted a pillow? Look at this shit. This shit is chipmunk fur. Y'all niggas ain't never have a chipmunk fur pillow. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. There's no way y'all can fuck with me. I'm the smoothest nigga living. My pillow is chipmunk fur. I killed like 20 of them motherfuckers and made two pillows. It ain't, it's not possible for y'all that y'all can say y'all can fuck with me. Y'all ain't never pet y'all pillow. Listen, until you pet your pillow and it don't bite you, don't talk to me. All right? I just want to get out the way because I'm just, just don't talk to me. Uh, this shit feel like baby skin. This shit smooth as a motherfucker. Y'all niggas don't got this. Yeah. And I'm tired of being modest, so I'm gonna just come up here and really talk my shit. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. Fuck y'all. Y'all niggas gonna hate on me anyway, so I'm gonna talk my shit. Go get you a chipmunk fur pillow, nigga. When you do that, then you come talk to me. 
And chilling, don't talk, don't talk to me. If you can't pet your pillow, don't talk to me. All right? Cool. But um, yeah, no, sir, I can't do that. Let's get to that. Aver Calico and this whole Avo situation. All right, let's 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 start with this. And and, and I said this, if y'all was in my if y'all was in my um my watch party that I did for the battles, I, I touched on this in there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get so surprised when somebody do something because y'all really be considering these niggas y'all friends. Y'all really talk to these niggas and think y'all cool with them. Avocado, I don't know him like that. I might have saw him, you know, you might have said what's up passing, but that's it. That's not my friend. I don't know him. I'm not going to hold a conversation with him. I don't put nothing past him what he did at all. Him doing what he did, I don't put that past him. It's like y'all get so, y'all like, oh my God, he, he said, I could see him saying some racist shit. Now, he didn't say nothing. He laughed when his man said something, his friend, right? But I'm going to tell y'all two things. One is, let's not act like we don't be around each other and be like oh yeah you you, know, you talking like a white person or um you acting like a white person or whatever that means we do the same thing so let's let's not do that we do the same thing we do we, we do the same thing we make jokes like that we do that now i'm not saying it's right it's not saying it's right but we joke like that you you wasn't supposed to do that shit on camera though point blank nobody's ever supposed to see that and you laughing i don't put it past him to do that so i don't give a fuck that he did it i, I look at him the same way that I looked at him before. I don't. I don't give a fuck about him. I didn't give a fuck about him now. I don't care. His man. He he was dead wrong because he sat there and his man was laughing. Right. So you you guilty by association. Period. So I get it. You're guilty by association. That's it. You're there. You're guilty too, nigga. If I can't. If, if I got beef with your brother and I catch you, I'm gonna fuck you up. You guilty by association, nigga. That should not be your brother. That shouldn't have been your brother, nigga. Your brother shouldn't have did no stupid shit. Period. All right? So, Avo is guilty by association. Period. I don't put that past him, though. I don't put that past him to the point where I'm going to be like, oh, my God, he did this Avo. How could you do that? No, I expected him to do that shit. Y'all niggas think all these niggas are y'all fucking friends. These niggas ain't y'all friends. Stop being so cool with these niggas. If, these, if you don't really know these niggas, stop trusting these niggas so much you expect them not to do something or something like that. Like, come on. That's like, for real. So I expected him to do that. He dead wrong, you guilty by association. So, all right. Verb, I fuck with Verb. I actually talked to Verb on the phone. Like, I fuck with Verb. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel, Verb, I don't feel like he said nothing to you. I feel like he said your name, but he said it in a way that was like any battle rapper. Like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, John, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get prepared for uh, Rum Nitty. Like, he just said it like, pick the battle rapper and just said it. I feel like verb you made it about you this is just my personal opinion that's it you know what i'm saying this is my opinion i feel like you made it about you but in the same breath i could understand how you would feel away or you could make it about you if you wanted to you could like you did you could make it about you i wouldn't have made it about me i'd have looked at out of sword oh yeah i understand what he did i'd have been more mad that you let your man say that shit. he didn't say verb didn't take care of his kids Okay. Um, I get if you say he said somebody name in a kind of racist convo. That's something I get. So that's why I would get why Verb would feel away. But if Verb would have said, "Don't say my name in a racist convo. Don't bring my name up and you have racist ass convos," I could understand that. I don't agree with him saying. That he said he don't take care of his kids. Because that, 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 that's not what I heard at all. Alright? That's not what I heard at all. So, I don't agree with that. But I, I do understand why Verb is mad because he brung his name up, period. You know what I'm saying? Don't say my name, period. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know Verb personally. Verb got about seven kids. He take care of all of them. Alright? I know Verb personally. He got about seven kids. Maybe 13. Verb got a bunch of fucking kids. Like... I'm talking about verb and fucking since he was probably three. 
like like I'm telling you, Verb got mad kids, like a whole like <laughs> like kids, kid, kid, kids. He got a bunch of them. Like Verb was fucking. Verb had to be fucking. He was like three. Like Verb had the little the little the little pee hole in his diaper. Like he had to have a little pee hole in his diaper. I don't he I don't know. That nigga was fucking for a minute. But Verb take care of all his kids though. You know what I'm saying? Verb take care of all his kids. And that's something I know for a fact. So that being said, Verb, you shouldn't even 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 uh even um got into that. The whole you know, uh the whole joint with the the GoFundMe. Um I don't agree with that neither. You know what I'm saying? But when he came out and said why he did it, I mean, I guess I can understand that. Um, it's up to you to believe that or not. And it's just really up to you to believe if that's why he did it or not. But I can see his whole stance on why he said it and, I mean, why he did it and y'all wasn't going to stand. But, uh, you know, I mean, I feel, I feel like if he didn't, if that wasn't the reason, that was a damn good comeback. You, you, you always got to have something in the chamber if something go wrong. <laughs> know that. So, shit, if, if that went wrong... He had a good ass comeback. And that's it. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, Verb, personally, I think you just try to get some bread. Fuck that. I ain't knocking you, nigga. You got 13 kids. Nigga, do what you got to do, nigga. Fuck that. I'm, you know what? I'm putting up a GoFundMe. I'm putting up a GoFundMe and I'm dead serious. I don't have no reason for the GoFundMe. All right? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have no reason for the GoFundMe. Just send me some money, please. That, that's all. Just, just send me something. I, I'm going to put it into something positive, though. I'm going to put it in the sun positive. All right? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it in the sun positive, and I'm going to show y'all what I put it into. You know what I'm saying? It might be something with my business. Uh, it might be for this show. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what? I'm going to do a GoFundMe for this show, and I'm going to buy something and give it away to one of y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy something, and I'm going to give it away to one of y'all. So maybe I, we might, I might do a GoFundMe. Take all that money, buy like two, three pairs of sneakers or whatever I make, and then do a raffle and just give the shit to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll talk about that. You know what I'm saying? If I got some extra money, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it. See, this is the difference. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? So, if I make however much money, you know what I'm saying? If I make a thousand dollars, right? I'm gonna spend, you know what I'm saying, like 700, you know, in the sneakers. And I'm gonna pocket 300. I mean, that's just business. That's it. Learn the business. Of course, I'm not gonna go spend the whole stack on it. I'm gonna pocket, you know, three hundred and spend the seven hundred on it. Like, come on, B. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is just business. That's it. This is just business. This is how business go. All right. Cool. So that's it. That's it with that situation. That's it with the whole um battle rap talk. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into something else. I'm, you know, I don't.